my honor and privilege to, to actually have all of you with us today and those who have already spoken and prayed and worshiped and also um sister evangelist you ha you wear so many hats alveda king oh my goodness you are such a blessing and she was on a zoom call with us last night in as we prepared our hearts for this conference and holy spirit put it on my heart um after the other worshipers trisha and valerie and it's like holy spirit whispered in my ear and said somebody has a song and i'm just like and this was during the prayer time and i'm just like really lord who and then he specifically said i said it's a jerry and karen and then he said well they're wonderful <laughs> but alveda does and so i asked alveda um and oh my goodness alveda i just wept and wept and just blowing my nose and tears and just what a beautiful song you're so gifted and talented and you're part of the presidential prayer team and you meet with the president and you know the lord has raised you up sister for such a time as this and we are so very blessed alveda king most of you know she's the niece of civil rights leader martin luther king and uh, she's the daughter of civil rights activist A.D. King and his wife Naomi Barber King. And uh, gosh, you're on Fox News, you're on Day. So I saw you on TBN with Matt Laurie Crouch. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, what a powerful interview that was. And mm -hmm. we, uh, yeah, you're all over the place. So we need to pray. Please keep everyone who's spoken or worship in prayer and particularly alveda king also and alan parker as they are battling for life y'all know we're in a battle between truth and lies life and death and we choose life so sister alveda i am passing the golden baton over to you right now Alvita, Alvita, we can't hear you very well at all. In fact, we can't hear you. It sounds like, are you speaking Chinese or Korean or some other language? Can you hear me? You can. No, we still can't hear you. But you look beautiful. We can see you. You look beautiful, but we can't hear you. Praise you, Lord. Let's just pray right now. Lord, we ask you to make a clear connection. Father God, send an angel to make this clear connection. God, we bind the enemy's schemes and we say, get your hands off of Vita's communication, Lord, right now with us. And Father, we just say, thank you, Lord God. And Lord, let it be a clear, clear communication with Sister Alvita as she shares her heart, Lord God, and some of the things that she's involved with and as she prays. Thank you, Lord. Bless her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Is this better? Oh, you can't. Glory is this God, better? Loud and clear. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, I asked for Wolfgang to share something first. It's a little music video, too. And then I have some very brief notes and a prayer. So Wolfgang says he can share it. So let's see if it works. I'm not so good with it. <laughs> Men will recognize that out of one blood. Yeah. God made all men to dwell upon the face of the earth. Let us be dissatisfied until that day when nobody will shout white power, when nobody will shout black power, but everybody will talk about God's power and human power. Father God, we come to thee with joy.
to something deficient. The blood of Jesus makes us one. Being of one blood makes us prolific. It's nothing mysterious or mystic. I'm just saying if you don't see color where there's so much beauty and diversity, it's not that realistic. The things God puts in place keeps us from getting it twisted. The things man puts before God has us divided like we missed it. I mean the class he gave on love, if you're not familiar with it. He sent his only begotten son and the Holy Spirit to kick it with it. Joseph's coat of many colors is what should be sought after. Looking at how it used to be divided by color should cause laughter. So I'm not colorblind, blind. Blind. created the human race for this is how God loved the world he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life God sent his son into the world not to judge the world but to save the world through him Okay, that's uh, that's it cut off, but that's all right. I think we got the message that life, God created life from the womb to the tomb. We're supposed to choose life. We're not supposed to be colorblind. We could see each other. Color denotes ethnicity, not race. There's only one race. And so Christians and Jews and Muslims, every knee shall bow. And every tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord. Margaret Sanger had it wrong. She thought she was a particular special race, the Aryan race. And so if you didn't look like the blonde hair and the blue eyes and all that, certainly we were called Negroes in that day. So we were not uh, included in her desire of this race to preserve, but Italians and all different kinds of people. So we are one human race from the womb to the tomb with different ethnicities wow. and distinctions. And so abortion came from that. People got mixed up with human sexuality because like Alan said, they forgot the real purpose that God designed that for. And that one man married to that one woman bearing those children and raising them up in the fear and admonition of God will prevent abortion and all of these other sexual questions. So we have to know and understand, and my uncle put it this way, Martin Luther King Jr., we must learn to live together as brothers, and I said as sisters, yeah. or perish together as fools. And so we don't want to perish together. We want to value the babies in the womb. I agree with that beautiful song. All babies have a right to live, absolutely. And so I thought it would be appropriate to share that message in the video so that you could see the pro-life message, the ethnic blending. There's no such thing as bi-racist, biracial, or this stuff. It's one race with various ethnicities. From the womb to the tomb, we all need Jesus Christ. We don't argue even about religion. I said, you know, the only religion that exists that had a divine Christ come and shed his blood for everyone, that, that's Jesus. Yeah. And no, Buddha didn't do that, or Muhammad didn't do that. Satan definitely didn't do that. Mm -hmm. No human beings did that. That was the divine Jesus Christ yeah. from the womb to the tomb. And Alan, I did cry when, when back there when uh, the, there was an opportunity to get rid of Roe v. Wade and God told me, stop crying, wipe your eyes. You've got to take the long road home. The hearts are not ready. So with the last time, mm -hmm. where peripheral 
collide. Convergence is imminent. And so we have had judgment through the last two pres three presidents with Bush, with President Obama, and even now with President Trump, it's all the ugly is just coming out. He said, drain the swamp. But what in the world did we think was at the bottom of the swamp? Monsters. <laughs> So we have to plead the blood of Jesus. So Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray California, it came to my heart, even when they ask about Jesus, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Well, absolutely, Jesus did. Can any good thing come out of California? People who love Jesus and believe in Jesus, absolutely. So we join California. We pray California. We pray for life from the womb to the tomb. We repent for thinking we were separate races. Lord, we need you. So continue to bathe this prayer call as you are doing with the worship, the prayers, the things that we're learning from each other. Thank you for the technology that lets us do this. We bind and curse the work of Satan, cancel every satanic and demonic contract right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Heavenly Father, be glorified by the power of your Holy Spirit by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And we give you all the praise amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen thank and amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And you mentioned Margaret Sanger, and we just want everyone to know that, yep, yes, just as Albita Mixed up. Shared, Mixed up. Just, just as Alvita shared, Margaret Sanger is... I wanted to just wipe out basically humanity that, that she felt wasn't worthy, that she judged. And in, that included a lot of blacks and, and sick people and the elderly. And, um, but she founded Planned Parenthood. She founded Planned Parenthood. So Very confused I, woman. She was confused. Yes. And, uh, Oh, my goodness. So we just have to tell the truth, shame the devil, and keep praying. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. Um, Alan, would you please pray? Amen. Father, we lift up Alvita, our yes. incredible sister in the Lord, a teacher, an evangelist, a Fox News contributor, Lord, where she can speak to the nation. Father, continue to anoint her words, anoint her teaching, anoint the new book that she's working on, and well, that just came out, uh, We're Not Colorblind, and the movie, the Roe v. Wade movie that she's working on. Father, use her, and you have been using her. We thank you for that. Continue to bless her. Father, open up more doors for her. Help her to be faithful and true to you as she has been. And Father, protect her from evil. Deliver her from evil or those that would come against her, almighty God, and show yourself mighty on her behalf, Lord, as she advances the truth of racial justice. Well, it's not racial justice. It's ethnic justice in America, Lord. And help us all, help her message to be imparted by the power of the Holy Spirit and to be received and inculcated the message of Jesus, the message of love, one blood, one race, one nation, Lord, under God. Let that be fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise thank you, Lord. Thank you, Alvita. Thank you. Th thank you, Alvita. Yes, and Lord, thank you that you continue to strengthen Alvita, God's supernatural strength, your healing power in and through her, every cell, every organ, strengthen, Lord God, as she continues to run the great race that you had set before her, Lord, accomplishing every single good plan that you have for her. And Alan Parker and all of our pro-life partners, we thank you, Father God. Right now, I'm going to ask some of our um, partners and our pro-life leaders. Um, is Wynette Sills on the phone? Wynette, she, she is, a week, she birthed Californians for Life. Some of us were part of that, but she did text me. She just had to drop off just a couple minutes ago because she and her husband are out of 
satellite distance now, so she has no reception. She let me know that ahead of time. So praise the Lord. We're going to ask um, one of my best longtime friends, Olga Herman, who is the founder of Life Teams International. Again, you can go to our program and see all these different ministries. Check them out. And Olga is also on the prayer council of the United States Senior Staff Leadership Team with me. And she's a pro-life representative director for the prayer council of the United States. And then we were going to have Wynette Sills, who we absolutely love. And she works with also with the priests and in throughout California. She sends out a great newsletter, very informative newsletter. So you may want to connect also with Wynette and receive her newsletter. And then Valerie House, um, who also led worship at the beginning and our Pray California County, Lake County prayer leader. And we just say, and a voice for life and abundant life. Valerie has adopted as a young age, younger age, a wonderful son. And we just say thank you, Father, for all these mighty ones. We bless you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Olga, go ahead. And then Valerie, thank you. Olga, you're on mute. There you go. Just okay, jump I in. Just, I just you. realized that. Okay, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We're so blessed to come together and pray for life. We know you're the God of the living and not the dead. In these days of repentance and return that we're in, we acknowledge our sin of the bloodshed of over 60 million children through abortion, the human sacrifice that gave power to the spirit of death over our nation. You've called us here today to repent, cleanse ourselves of the terrible crime we've allowed against you. We ask mercy, restore love, health, and prosperity to our people. As the church, we offer our works to you in holiness for healing. Give us courage to speak truth in love to lead families back to you. Fill them with your love to understand the preciousness and perfect plan you have for every child when you breathe life at conception. Restore the parents' heart for their children's legacy and save them from the grief of losing a child. Bring schools back to your truth that God created male and female to be fruitful and multiply and that their children are the reward. We say to education that teaches death and perversion to stop in the name of Jesus. Lord, many of those we have chosen to lead us don't know you. Your word says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Let your church arise and vote for your laws of life. We also ask you to turn back the medical industry to its mandate of healing and not killing. Let wealth overflow for those who take care of the abandoned, even before birth and the families needing help that no one would feel the need to abort their blessing. We pray for media, the airwaves, and written words. Use them to decree your will over California and the nation. Let them prophesy. Dry bones, you will live. We say to every mountain of influence, repent and return to your God, Yahweh, our Father, the Creator of all, and His Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him we have salvation, healing, and truth. Let mercy fall, let mercy fall on California and the United States of America and make us beautiful again to bring the good news of the gospel. Thank you, Lord, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. We pray for life for each baby and child, Lord. We ask for a spirit of adoption to come upon our land in a mighty way. In Jesus' name, we say there's room at our table for one more, O oh Lord. Heal hurting hearts, God. Bring healing to any broken hearts of these children through the wholeness of Christian families. Raise up more adoptive families, Lord. Release finances. Release availability. Release favor upon adoption in our nation, Lord, like never before. We cover every adoptive family with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask for greater support too, Lord, and we thank you for dropping it in the hearts of those right now that you're calling to adopt. In Yeshua's mighty name, amen. Amen and amen. And we're, thank you, Valerie, we agree. And also, um, I'd like to ask Dyson Pond, um, I lovingly call him little bro, he calls me big sis, they're in Colorado Springs, used to live in California, 
a, a national prayer leader who actually connected me originally with Alan Parker and Alveda King. So Dice Up, would you please offer a prayer? Thank you. Can we all extend our hand towards the camera as a gesture of wanting to bless Alveda together? Father, I thank you for our precious sister Alveda. Thank you, Lord. She knows who the, who the only one, the only rightful king of the universe is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have given her influence in the White House through Fox News across our nation to speak on your behalf, Lord, for babies and mothers room, to speak on behalf of your kingdom on earth, God. Would you continue to offer her Heaven on Earth 2020 vision throughout 2020 and beyond that she may accomplish your good pleasure, Lord, beginning with the King family. Or may, King, may the King family come alive and arrive and, and revive like Alvida is constantly, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would redeem the King family to reflect the glory of the King, Lord, yes. in 2020. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we know that there are many barriers and challenges to the Roe v. Wade movie because it will expose the lies of the enemy. Lord, would you use Alvita and the team to complete this movie and that all of America and the nations will tune in and that the lies of the enemy will be dispelled and the truth of Jesus Christ will prevail. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray that uh, this new book, We're Not Call of Life, will be, will be read by millions and be used by the Holy Spirit to, to unify the body of Christ, unify our nation, Lord, one nation unto God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. All of God's people said, Amen. Amen. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you. Thank you, Lord. Alvita, do you have a song you'd like to release or final or any word? I don't want to say final words like other people say because we want to hear a whole lot more from you. Uh, I've got little grandchildren and some little babies who were rescued uh, oh, and, and their lives saved, all that. So you might hear noise in the background. That's why I've got my background picture instead of me. So, uh, if we could, everybody unmute real quick, and let's just do this one together. If you don't know it, you'll learn it real, real fast. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just want to thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Here is such a blessing to have you on our Pray California conference calls when you can join us and just share your hearts. You truly are a blessing to California, to the nation to the president, to the babies. So thank you for standing firmly, deeply rooted upon God's word. And we just bless you and love you and throw you kisses. Mwah. Thank you, Lord. So.